Hello, I'm Alex Gorioran, one of your hosts for the JWU Explore From Home video podcast series. We want to welcome you back for this university-wide initiative as we highlight the expertise of some of our faculty and alumni and how their experiences at JWU have prepared them for their career today. Each video highlights a conversation between a JWU professor and an alum or an industry partner. And today's conversation will focus on how a JWU education will prepare students for real world success. Everyone goes to college to learn, but not all programs are created equally. And at Johnson and Wales, students receive a hands-on experiential education that prepares them for the real world and molds them into desirable employees upon graduation. Joining me today is Elizabeth Carey and Darren Jodwin. Uh, Elizabeth Carey is an associate professor of marketing in the College of, uh, the College of Business at Johnson and Wales University. Her research focuses on implicit bias and stereotypes in advertising, and project-based learning, and emerging technology and industry certifications for student career success. Elizabeth has worked in the advertising industry for over 30 years in Providence, San Francisco, Boston, and Chicago, with clients from many industries, including technology, telecommunications, financial services, packaged goods, and social enterprise and higher education. She's also the founder of Apply Yourself Today, which helps college applicants, students, and graduates, and seasoned work professionals to leverage and op optimize their personal professional brand. And we also have Darren, who is the president of PMC Media Group, a full service marketing and advertising firm. And he's an accomplished and recognized business leader with two decades of experience in the media and, media and advertising industry. And Darren has fused his passions for his work and for his community to create a successful growing small business making an impact in various sectors across the state and beyond. And the results of Darren's dedication to his work are evidenced by a number of recent accomplishments from uh, establishing a large statewide not-for-profit trade association, a private secondary education to family-owned automobile retail and community-based uh, initiatives. So I, I wanna thank uh, Elizabeth and, and Darren uh, for joining us here today. Uh, and uh, so Darren, let's start off with you. Uh, can you share with us a little bit of your experience there with the PMC Media Group and, and some of the skills that you're looking for when you're considering either an intern or a prospective employee? Sure, you know, thank you for having me uh, on the podcast today. Uh, you know, we work very closely with uh, Johnson Wales University. It's always been a great collaboration. Uh, some of our best uh, uh, interns and um, uh, employees have come from Johnson Wales. We actually have five graduates here at uh, PMC, which is unbelievable. Um, and uh, we've had three folks that have gone from internships into full-time positions, which really says a lot about the education that these folks are getting from Johnson & Wales, which has really led to some amazing hires. Uh, but some of the qualities that PMC looks for, uh, I would say that we always look for uh, great communicators, uh, folks that are just really great you know, creative thinkers, um, uh, always look for them to take the initiative, being great multitaskers, um, uh, certainly being team oriented. Uh, that's a really important uh, trait that I'm always looking for. Um, you know, having really good confidence. And I feel like they get all of these great, um, um, you know, uh, uh, pieces of the puzzle from their great education at Johnston Wales. It's been uh, hands down just uh, a great collaboration over the years. That's great. It's great to hear. Uh, Elizabeth, can you uh, share with us a little bit more of some of the highlights of the, the experiential learning and the marketing program at Johnson & Wales? Sure. And again, thank you for having me. Um, and it's been really great working with Darren now, I think, I want to say five years, six years? Six years. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. And uh, one of the things we try to do is keep our curriculum very current with industry. So having these partnerships with agencies like PMC Media uh, allows us to have feedback. You know, are we training our students appropriately? What certifications can we embed in our courses? Um, what types of research projects would be most relevant? So I think our program is a combination of um, courses that stay relevant with the industry, uh, we have a very robust career services uh, group that really works very closely with our students. We also have a course type called the DEE. It's a directed experiential education course, and it's basically a consulting course, and it teaches students how to be consultants 
with either an, an outside or internal client, and we've, we've done many of those courses. Um, and I think the industry certifications that we continuously embed in our courses allows students to have a lot of hands-on application so that when they come to an agency, a full service agency like PMC, um, they're already prepared. They know the, the Google Analytics uh, user interface or they know a social media content management platform like Hootsuite or um, some of the other uh, certifications that we embed in our courses. And you know the marketing and advertising industry is is constantly changing, and obviously uh, you know in the in the real world there on the PMC side, but even just in the in the collegiate level, uh, you know just what the the tools and and uh, and skills that people are learning. Um, can you share with us, and this would be for for both of you, uh, some of the trends that you're seeing out there, uh, and how the the industry is changing in the marketing front and how students may need to adapt to that. And uh, yeah. Yeah, you want to go first? Or? Pass it up. <laughs> so, you know, just something that comes to mind is that, you know, right now, just uh, things that are forever changing, you know, everything's always changing in our industry. Uh, but right now, specifically, I would say that there's a lot of um, uh, uh, revenue changes from traditional media, TV, radio, print, outdoor, going more towards digital marketing, and more importantly, towards social media management and content creation, there's a lot of things that need to happen more organically now than ever before, just to stay top of mind, you know, have strong brand awareness. And between those digital assets uh, and, 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 and social media, uh, which is something that we get uh, a lot of great, you know, a lot of those folks that come to us from Johnson & Wales had that education um, which wasn't often many years ago, uh, has just been uh, a tremendous uh, a value to our firm for sure. Uh, and I'll, I'll just maybe add that I think some of the trends that we're seeing with our industry partners and a lot of the dialogue that we have, because uh, many of the faculty at Johnson & Wales across all of our colleges, um, we have a lot of industry experience, so we maintain those connections and they're giving us a lot of feedback of what they're looking for. And I would say other things too is a real emphasis on understanding research, understanding analytics. I'm also seeing a lot of trends now where students are expected to be very strong writers, oral presentation skills, and have Adobe Suite, Creative Suite skills, which um, can be daunting, but I always tell students, you know, if you're afraid to jump into video editing, you really need to learn it because motion graphics right now is in high demand. And there are a lot of fantastic um, programs where you can learn, or sometimes we bring a lot of that into the classroom as well, because that's what we're seeing and hearing from our employer contacts. And you know, at Johnson & Wales, we talk about, you know, adapting these changes. And, and Elizabeth, you spoke a little bit about some of those resources that are available. Um, but when you think about it, uh, you know, are there, are there, what kind of challenges do you see in that digital marketplace and that professionals might face in the future? And, and again, how JWU can kind of maybe help them along the way with that? Do you mean um, employer professionals or Job so, so both, um, you know, I want to talk a little bit about the internship program uh, at Johnson & Wales and then how that kind of leads to even post-graduation on there. So maybe we can start with the internship program and how that's preparing them for the real world success out there. Yeah, so uh, one of the things I think that makes us unique at Johnson & Wales is we encourage our students from their first year in the program, they get a lot of access to courses within their major. Uh, and also we encourage them to look at internships, not so much for course credit, but even just for experience their first summer after their freshman year or their first year if they're a transfer student. Uh, the emphasis on internships is, is a very big focus and we have uh, a, an entire department, a career services department that really kind of works one on one with our students, not only just internship access, but uh, lots of workshops on interview skills, resume skills, uh, setting up your LinkedIn profile. Um, and there's even a, a dedicated capstone course for all students that they must take before graduation, which really focuses on, you know, preparing, you know, what we typically refer to as their personal brand before they, you know, start hitting the job market. 
but it doesn't start in their senior year. It actually starts in their freshman year or their first year with Johnson and Wales and um, feedback from other universities and colleges. And we all go to lots of academic conferences. I don't necessarily see that as consistently with other institutions. So I think that's pretty unique that we try to offer that to students from the very beginning of their academic career with the university. And, and you know, fast forward, uh, you know, obviously the internship prepares them for those jobs coming out of, out of college. Uh, and, but what, and being a JWU grad, you know, what university resources are available to them after, the, after graduation and continue to evolve and learn and access to those real world opportunities? Yeah, that's a great question. And I recently learned some of this myself through some of our career services uh, team. So any JWU grad can continue to attend any career fair at any time. It doesn't matter if you graduated a year ago or five years ago. Um, we also have a very robust uh, database system where we have industry databases, market research databases, a lot of resources that our grads can continue to access and get support from our library services. And uh, we also have a fantastic JWU alumni relations team that frequently hosts meetups. And then, you know, pre-pandemic, they were in person spread out throughout the country. And now they're doing a lot more of uh, Zoom sessions. Um, last year, I did a webinar for about maybe 500 JWU alumni on personal branding. So the alumni relations team is, is constantly reaching out to our young alumni, not just young alumni, but our recent as well as those not so recent and just keeping them abreast of industry changes or inviting them to networking events, uh, which I, I think is uh, a real testament to how we don't just let you graduate and fade off, you know, we stay connected and offer a lot of support throughout throughout your career. And, and Darren, you, you've clearly had some success with the internship program at JWU. Uh, you know, for students to kind of envision themselves in the, the marketing and advertising fields, can you share with us a little bit of what that experience would be as an intern and, uh, you know, what they would be exposed to in the different areas of the industry? Sure. You know, uh, one of the things we always say about our internships is that, you know, we want them to get real world experience for sure. We just don't want them to be a body in the room, just doing some busy work. And uh, we really uh, give them um, a, a sense of what it's like to be in the workforce, to be involved in multiple departments, to be involved in some initiatives that they may not be going to school for, but at least lets them know more about the industry, what it takes to really create that, that, that team collaboration on certain projects um, and uh, to get them uh, ready to, to enter that workforce. It's, um, you know, one of the things I wanted to add to what Beth had mentioned earlier was that you know, so the interns that come in, they, they always um, uh, uh, state that the professors really go above and beyond to make sure that they're uh, uh, providing a lot of those resources to them and, and, and definitely um, always um, giving kudos to the professors for helping them through these internships and finding them the internships. So uh, every time we have an intern from Johnston Wales, it's always been a great experience for sure. Great, great. And so, you know, for those students that are, are here listening to this podcast series, can you share with them uh, some advice uh, in terms of uh, their career path and, and uh, you know, their consideration of this career in marketing and advertising? Sure. You know, I, I bet you want to take a stab at that or is that? Is no, that, you can start and I'll, I'll add on. Okay. Um, you know, I would just say that, you know, um, be vocal. You know, uh, if, you, if you start an internship and you come on board, um, uh, the most impressive thing uh, when I'm sitting in a meeting with any of these interns is that they are asking a lot of questions. The more they participate, the more you realize that they are hungry for more information, to learn more. Uh, because when you get into the real world, it, you know, it's, it's different from being in a classroom. And uh, um, uh, the ones that we have hired, the ones that stuck out, were the ones that really got involved in projects. Um, you know, uh, uh, went that extra mile. And it wasn't to prove to leadership here, it was more so for their own personal development. And that's what impressed me most. So to be vocal would be one of the most important things that I would say would benefit them uh, uh, the most uh, by, by when they participate in an internship. 
Yeah, and I would add to that as well. Uh, in a lot of our in our classes, and again, I run an implicit bias and stereotype workshop in a lot of my marketing classes through another fantastic resource that we have called the Bridge Center, and it's all on um, interrelational dialogue uh, for students to kind of understand when you have a voice at the table. So when we run the students through the workshops um, on implicit bias and stereotypes and advertising, the way I try to end the workshop is pretty close to what Darren said is, remember, just because you're the most junior member on the team, starting out your first job after college, doesn't mean um, your voice isn't valid. And you actually might be bringing a very important perspective to the table, for example, on implicit bias. And we all know the mistakes that brands have made with implicit bias. It's rarely intentional. It's just there wasn't enough representation at the table. Um, so I try to encourage students that regardless of where you are in your career path, please speak up. If something doesn't sound right in an ad campaign or doesn't feel right and you don't speak up, you know, you've missed an opportunity to potentially avoid a disaster for a brand that might have done something completely innocently just because they didn't see it right. because of where they come from. Um, and that's another reason in our programs, group projects, which they they begrudgingly sometimes participate in because of work balance, but uh, we focus a lot on presentation skills, everything from articulating your voice, eye contact, good posture, proper attire, because I don't want to sound like I'm stereotyping millennials and Gen Zers, but they will admit themselves that their dependence on digital communications can sometimes um, make those oral communications be a little bit weaker. So they have to kind of work a little harder at that. Yeah. And over time they learn and they excel very well. I've seen a lot of growth in classes with team projects from their freshman year. And then I see them again, maybe their junior year and they've really come a long way to kind of sell their idea and to sell their messaging for whatever project it is. Well, that, that's really great advice. Uh, thank you both for that. Uh, so in, in closing here, uh, can you uh, maybe share, uh, you know, again, going back to our prospective students and even those that are already in the program there of, uh, of the importance of uh, and the opportunities of, with the JWU education, like why they should consider uh, attending. And Elizabeth, we can start with you. There. Okay, sure. Um, well, I think it's a combination of things where our curriculum is something we look very closely at all the time. We are constantly asking for feedback from the industries. You know, if we're not putting this into the course, what else do we need? I think we have a nice balance in our, in our college of business and within the marketing team and the marketing faculty that some bring amazing research perspectives from in their work and others bring in a lot of industry experience. So I think the combination of um, understanding uh, uh, emerging technologies as an example, and then combining that with certifications that give students the tools so that they can go to a PMC media, not feel afraid, they can immediately contribute to the team. Um, I think that's a, a pretty unique offering that um, we try to deliver upon within our programs. Right. And, and Darren, as an industry partner and obviously working with the internship program, uh, can you share with us the value for a student to attend Johnson and Wales? You know, I, I, um, I would say, it's, you know, there's a, there's a handful of things. And one of them uh, that really sticks out all the time is those personal connections with the professors and the educators there. Um, you know, they, they actually, uh, they, they say that unlike some other universities, they're, they're, um, uh, the professors know their names when they're in the classroom. You know, it's not a study hall of 300 plus students. You know, it's a smaller classroom, um, more, more uh, uh, hands-on experience, you know, really giving them the know-how. Um, uh, another big plus is certifications. You know, as, as Elizabeth had mentioned earlier, you know, having, uh, you know, they come to us with Hootsuite certifications, uh, Adobe Creative Suite, uh, HubSpot, um, Google Ads, there's, there's a lot of different certifications that really benefit them coming on board, um, uh, you know, as a place like PMC. Um, but they also have a lot of resources available to them. And, and I see that now, like we uh, are hiring for a different position. Uh, and they say, oh, well, we got some resources at, at the university from post-graduation years later. And they still use those resources now to help us 
which is tremendous. So there's just a lot of really great, uh, uh, um, you know, opportunities. And um, I just, I, I can't say enough. I've been so stoked over the years to be uh, a partner with the uh, university. Well, that's yeah. wonderful to hear. I love working with PMC. <laughs> yeah. No, obviously a great industry partner and, uh, and really is working, working really well. Uh, so in, in closing here, uh, and I want to thank you again, Elizabeth and Darren, for, for joining us and sharing all this great information and the opportunities in the marketplace and how a, a JWO education can prepare you for real world success. Uh, and to all of you exploring at home, uh, stay tuned for our next video series. And in the meantime, uh, check us out online at jwu.edu. So thank you, Elizabeth and Darren. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us.